Tennessee where? This is Third. the site Yeah, so I'm sure we could have probably. But it could be. Yeah. The size what? Oh, It'd be kind of hard. Like oh, my friends. What size is this? These are 60s. I used to wear 62. I have pictures. Hey everybody, I'm back in my loft in Columbus, Ohio. Today we have, let's see, we've been to Zanesville, met with the Zanesville mayor, spent some time with uh, Daniel Blevins, and we hurried back as fast as we could so uh, we all could meet in person. Someone uh, named Darren, who was referred to me through Senator Stewart who most of you know, who I spent yesterday in the state senate house with. He said, you gotta meet this kid. He's, he's quite the inspiration. And as you can see, he, he's, he's not really here with us uh, today, but he's here with us today. His name's Darren. And uh, uh, um, this is the space he used to take up and this is the space he takes up now. And uh, nothing staged here, I'm gonna tell you that. He's not here to say the Vicellus products helped me out. He's not here to say any other products helped him out. He's here to say what helped you out. Um, I, well, a couple years ago, they thought I had cancer, and I was 515 pounds at the time, and I uh, was by myself at home, it was right after Christmas, and had a cat, and I just finished a whole pizza, um, a bag of Lay's potato chips, some sour, a tub of sour cream, a two liter of Pepsi, some french fries, and a carne cottage cheese, and... In one sitting? In one sitting, that was supper. And um, I, I fell, I, to get off my couch, which was similar to this, I would fall to the floor and pick myself up. And this is, I had to take a quarter off because I thought I had cancer. And I dropped to the floor and this time my heart stopped. And my first thought, I know I have weird first thoughts. My first thought was, I'm not gonna let the cat eat my face if I die, because my heart stopped. And I got up and I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I've got to get up and start changing. So I started cutting out. I went back to school and found some new friends and I started to cut out food that was bad for me. And I lost my first 100 pounds with this cutting out the food. And I incorporated a clean diet of like fresh produce and like we would have portion control meals. And then I got into exercise and I loved to exercise. And then I lost the rest. And I got to the point where I was incorporating too much exercise and less food, and I got down to 147. And from three, from 535 to 147 within a year and 10 months, and I was just so like, they said, you have to gain weight back, because I have like 25 extra pounds of skin, and they're like, you really, really need to like moderate what you're doing. So I gained a little bit weight back and the secret that I used besides just, you know, cutting out bad things and all was the book, The Secret. Really? I used the book, The Secret, because it was, it basically I believe if you, re I believe anyone can do anything that they believe in. Like if they want it, go for it. I really, really stress that. But the point is I believed that I would work out and at my gym I ha there was a mirror and I would say I'm skinny, I would just have this mantra I'm skinny and I just kept doing it and doing it and eventually it happened and I just believe if you will something into your life it happens. Okay, let, okay. <laughs> let's rewind. Okay. You don't just say, you don't just weigh 500 and some pounds and say Okay, I just want to be skinny and I like working out overnight, right? Mm -mm. When we make a, a drastic move in our life like that to something big, mm -hmm. right? Well, actually, no, smaller mm -hmm. in this case, right? Smaller. <laughs> okay. uh, you have to have a reason why you're doing it. Like, what wall did you hit that you said, I'm fed up with the shit? Um, well, it was that I weighed, I was always kind of chunky growing up. I didn't have a good family life. Um, I and then I was always beaten down physically and emotionally by people in my life that were like you can't do this you can never do this and I have one of those things that say if someone tells me I'm never gonna do something I'm just gonna prove them wrong I'm like F you I'm going to do it and I um, I never I, I was always social I was always making people laugh but it was just something like I remember watching the show that when I hit the floor and almost died I was like it was a dance, it was a show that they were dancing and I loved, 
I love to dance. And I, it was just like, even when I was overweight, people were like, well, your hips move. And I, we don't understand how they move like that. And I just was like, you know what? I bet you I could do this. And I just did it. I, I wanted to be a part of the world that I've never been, you know? And right. So, power of the mind, right? How, th can you remember five memorable negative thoughts you would carry daily when you were 500 pounds? Um, no, not really. I mean, I used to probably, but I still, I remember that um, what really happened was I was in a relationship and uh, not like, it was a, like an emotional abusive relationship. It was nothing physical. But the point was I gained my last, I gained the over 100 pounds but from four, four, my high school, my senior year, I weighed 350 pounds before I entered my senior year. And after that relationship turned sour, that person told me that I would never, ever have anyone in my life. And I just, I remember turning to food. I turned to a carton of cottage cheese and those chili crackers. And I said, you will never hurt me. And I said that out loud while watching a movie. And I turned to food and eventually it hurt me. And I eventually just gained and gained and gained. And by the end of my senior year, I weighed 414 pounds. I gained another 100 pounds my freshman year in college. And then when I was around 21, that's when I realized it's like, I can't let something control me. I have to take charge of my life. I have to be a part of the world. I can't hide from the world. So how old are you now? I'll be 26 in November. Only 26. And still never been in a relationship because everyone's like, so, you know, how has it changed your life? And I've, it hasn't really. I just do my daily thing. I go, wake up, eat, exercise, and talk to people. Every I, day? Yeah, I, every day. I you, you, do, you worked out today? Yes, I did. Right before, I was so glad that you allowed me to come in later in the afternoon because I... I am like on a, like a time schedule, so I have to work out in the morning. I do um, cardio, and I did weights, and I did some abdominal things. But since I have my hernias, um, I can't do too much heavy weights because it, it disrupts some more. Got it. So. Got it. So, so word on the street from Athens, <laughs> Meg, Meg, Meg's County, is is your drug dealer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm supposedly I've. Never done. What do, you, what do you deal? I deal um, lots of supplements. Uh, <laughs> lots of supplements. Like I carry a bag around of supplements. Um, I take pretty much anything. I, I like to try. I like to read my research before I try something. But I've tried. Um, I don't eat a lot of meat. I've never ate. I've never had a McDonald's hamburger in my whole life. And no, no way. No, uh, totally. No never way. had it. Never had a McDonald's hamburger in my whole life. Uh, because I remember... Wendy's? Nope. Never. Burger King? Nope. Taco Bell? Nope. Really? Yeah. Arby's? Nope. Racks? Nope. Okay, watch this. This <laughs> is Pizza Hut? Uh, pizza Hut. Like, I've had pizza. Yeah, okay. I, but I haven't... No, no, no burger fast food. No burger fast food. I used to live off of pizza. I used to eat a whole pizza every day. So, so the point is, a lot of people think it's just those fast foods, you know, those burgers and those fries and the mm -hmm. crap that, that makes you overweight, whereas it's other foods that can do it too. Oh, like, oh yeah. Name, name your, your, your two, three worst en enemies during the fight. I haven't had a pizza in three years. Right, but what, what would be the two or three biggest? My biggest, like, challenges? Oh, God. Uh, growing up, it was, I, I, I formed, like, I was lactose intolerant, and then I could digest dairy some, so I became an addict to cottage cheese. And cottage cheese? it was one of them. It's high in protein, though. Yeah, but if you don't exercise, and you just sit around all the day. So and cottage you, cheese, pizza, uh -huh. and what else? French fries. French fries. And okay, if there was a fourth one, it would have been potato chips. Okay. But um, uh, I cut out pizza on June 16th, uh, almost three years ago. And I um, haven't had a pizza since. <laughs> and I, 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 like I told you, I cut out, the beginning, I cut out a food every month. And my first food was potato chips. See, that's crazy because most people think potato chips, french fries, and, and cottage cheese are these side meals. No, they were my or whole they, meals. They, they can do damage. They were my whole meals because I wouldn't eat any meat at all. Like, I, I, I didn't have a chicken until I was like 16. 
I mean, really? yeah, I, growing up, I was a weird kid. Uh, my parents- Did you grow up in Athens? Yeah. Out in Athens, you never had chicken? Oh, well, okay, my, see, here's the thing. I told, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was growing up. I wanted to be a lot of things when I was growing up. But um, I remember telling my mom that I was like, where does this come from? And she's like, well, you know, it comes from the animals outside. And I'm like, and I started crying. And I said, I'm never gonna eat them. And I didn't eat anything like that until I was like 16. Mm. And now I don't even eat hardly chicken. Like I lived in Korea for a while and I like fish, but I don't hardly eat chicken or turkey. I'll eat them occasionally, but I, I mainly get my protein source from beans and soy products and um, supplements like uh, Vaisalus and um, any protein drinks like that. We didn't ask him to say that either. When he said Vaisalus products, that's how I met Senator Stewart. He was talking about his story, which is amazing that he's had the products and likes them. I love them. What, do you, I, what is your opinion on supplementation? But outside of eating right and working out, supplementation. I believe is it's essential. I, I, I really believe it's essential just because there's certain things that you, you know, I've watched television shows. I'm all about medical terminology, things like that. But there are certain things that you just can't get without supplements. There's certain things you can't like, yeah, you can get, you can eat all this vitamin, like I remember watching a show where they're like, all this can be in a pill. And I'm like, yeah, I still eat all healthy foods, but it just doesn't mean that you can just eat healthy foods and not have certain supplements. I really believe in it. Yeah. So you, you, you would give that advice to anyone? I give, a, I give a bunch of advice, whether well, I, they take it or not. It's, I think the same thing, especially because in today's world, it's, it's hard, especially with the food, we, it's hard to get it, right? And, so. and just, just not with the food, it's the price. Like, right. you know, okay, you can get a bunch of, like, I try to eat organic as much as I can because there's the dirty dozen. And, but that's hard for the economy right now that people can't afford like all organic foods or all vegetables and I always tell them like either get canned or packaged if you can just get some type of vegetable it doesn't matter because people don't understand that canned food is always picked at the ripest mm -hmm. and that they can get it or frozen food but then everyone's like well I have to get all this to get all my you know vitamin A, K, E so they can take a pill. Let okay. me ask you something then. Okay. You're talking about economy and money right? Yes. What if I was to tell you there is a, 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 a meal you could consume with, with more nutrition in it than anything out there? And, and with that meal and some supplements and other, other, other healthy drinks, you could consume on a daily basis. It could be something that anyone could afford, but, but if, you sh if you shared what you consumed with others, we'd give it to you for free every month. I would do it. Right. That's what we do. I don't know if you knew that, but that's... I, that's, I, that's, I was that's talking to Senator thing. Stewart about that yeah. last night because I was like, he's like, so how do you like this? And I go, I love it. it. And I go, it's just the price. And he goes, well, if you get three other people, then you get yours for free.